Hetepu. My name is Jabari Osaze, and this is Ancient Wisdom Daily. On this Tuesday, I come to you with a maxim that once again is given to us from the book of Pebhor. This ancient Egyptian, this ancient Kemetic book of wisdom is the kind of text that might help us deal with our modern lives, but still allow us to focus on it from an ancient lens. We truly believe with the Center for the Restoration of Ma'at, um, for Restoration of Ma'at, that we are able to uh, once again return to a period of sacred balance through utilizing ancient wisdom, and that, that wisdom that was given to us by our ancestors is good enough to set the scales back into balance today in our contemporary lives. And so Pebhor says to us, it is better for a serpent to be in the house than a fool who comes often. Those who associate with the fool are drawn into wrongdoing. Those who live with the fool die in captivity. The friends of fools sleep tied to them. And the wrongdoing of fools harm even their own relatives. When a fool lights a fire, he goes too close to it and gets burnt. And when a fool starts a fight, she goes too close to it and gets knocked down. Those who walk with the wise share their praise, but those who walk in the company of a fool create an evil odor in the street. Wow, those who walk with the fool create an evil odor in the street. Can you imagine say, thinking that way? Can you think about how um, when you're doing things that are, are wrong, doing things that are wrong-headed, doing things that are isfet or, or out of balance, you're actually creating a, 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 an evil odor in the street? I don't think you can say something stronger than that. But keep in mind that Pebhor begins to tell us that it's better for us to actually have a serpent in our house than to have a fool that probably is in the house very often. Because when you spend time with someone who is continually doing wrong, who um, continues to persist with not being their higher selves, we actually bring ourselves down. You remember that maxim that says, birds of a feather flock together? Well, obviously, if you are spending time with people who are doing wrong, doing isfet, then you should expect that you will begin to do isfet. So please make sure that you keep company with individuals who are also on the same divine path that you are. By the way, I might even be speaking to someone who could be called a fool. Make sure that you are living life in an upward manner so that you can be considered one of the most wise and sacred people living life according to Ma'at. I love here that he says that a fool lights a fire then goes too close to it and gets burnt or starts a fight and steps too close and gets knocked down. Clearly they are so ignorant that they set things in motion and then are not ready to deal with the consequences. Truly that is what restoring Ma'at is about. It's about dealing with the consequences so we can return to divine balance. A fool does not deal with consequences. A fool does whatever they like to do, harms people, creates inappropriate situations, and is then affected by them. Make sure you're not standing too close to them when they are knocked down in the street, or that you cannot be counted among those who are creating an ill odor in public. This is Jabari Osaze, and this has been Ancient Wisdom Daily. Do you, would you like to get these bits of ancient wisdom in your mailbox every day? Go ahead and subscribe. Visit our website and join the conversation about how we can create a more maatical society and return our world to divine balance. Thank you so much, and we'll see you tomorrow.